This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Baby Vev. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Apache's kind of wet right now because I just sprayed down the enclosure before I took her out. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm filming an FTR today. Fish tank review. Whoa, guys, so glad to see you here for another fish tank review episode. Episode 79, baby. <laughs> wow, has it been that long ago since episode 69? Goodness. Today we're sponsored by myself, but my other self, which is Chris for Thought. Go check out Chris for Thought channel if you like food, if you like food reviews, if you like random videos. If you just can't get enough of this guy, which I don't, I feel like this is more than enough. But just in case for the two or three of you that can't get enough of this annoying guy, going with the Earl Grey and the aquarium co-op mug, what's up? It's gonna be a good episode, let's get started baby. So I bought this vase specifically for her yesterday and she approved. Oh, my cuteness overload sensory organs. Apache, why can't you be this cute? I'm sorry, I don't. I, I didn't mean that. Blood parasiclids are just, you know, the jewels of this hobby. I, I always wanted one. I just never had a big enough tank for one. I am a little wary though because that hole is a little small and the fins can get roughed up. The, the fish, by the way, doesn't know if it's getting roughed up uh, that much. So it might be too late before, you know, some disease kicks in because if there's torn fins, then the fish is open and in a weakened state for any sort of disease to try to take over. I'll be very careful about that. If you're trying something like this, maybe don't make it so snug. Maybe go a little, a few sizes bigger. Don't worry, the fish will not be offended. Someone local was selling this. My heart hurts. This is activating like the opposite of that cute organ in my body that the blood parasiclid was activating. Typical crappy hexagonal Oscar tank. It's beside that person's bed. How are you supposed to fall asleep to that every night? It's gonna give you terrible, terrible dreams. Your heart hurts. This guy's head must hurt. Inexplicable migraines all day. This tank is sent in by Colum Connolly. Wow, I mean, what a beautiful tank. Look at that clean background. You made it black, which is always a nice technique to use. And then, why is it so loud outside? What is that? Attack on Titan? Are, are the Titans coming for me or something? What's going on here? Final season, Attack on Titan anime, amazing. Manga, also amazing. Pretty, getting pretty crazy. Won't spoil it for you guys, don't worry. The divide between the sand and the grass. Wow, super clean. How did you even manage that? It's amazing. The lines from the wood, oh, amazing. This is like a live bearer stocked tank, not too overcrowded. We're starting off strong, guys. 4.8 out of 5. Keep it up. Oh, and here's another tank by the same guy. Callum Connolly 2, version 2. You got a angelfish tank. You got a center island-esque scape with some rocks that you probably can just find outside, which is very resourceful. Not a significant uh, nutrient-rich substrate because there's just Anubias and some other uh, low-tech plants that is embedded throughout the stone. Callum, you are killing it. Both tanks together, 4.8 out of 5, keep it up. Humans don't need big houses, they live in cubicles in the wild. <laughs> A lot of people say bettas don't need big tanks because they live in tiny little segments of puddles in the wild, which is not true. Same thing with humans, right? I mean, just because you can actually stay alive in something doesn't mean you're flourishing, doesn't mean you're feeling anything but pain. I've never worked in a cubicle, thank goodness, but I've worked in retail and- ooh, retail and- ooh. But I've worked in retail and that was hell, you know? Especially on the cashier. Oh man, I don't wish that on anybody, being a cashier for eight hours a day. But you know what? It's good for building character, it's good to put yourself through something like that so that, you know, you understand there are there are people at that stage of life doing those things. Anyways, this is getting a little bit off track. Point is, just because bettas live, actually they don't even live in small, small puddles. They live in big giant rice fields and they just set up their own smaller territories. It's not, it's not a small puddle. I don't know, where did that come from? Like an I Spy book, but it progressively gets more depressing the more you look. Ah, uh, uh, it hurts. I mean, I, I just hate looking at these types of aquariums. Like, you keep seeing worse things. Wanted any unwanted aquarium fish tanks, equipment, and tropical fish, one dollar. Dude, I don't think you should be amassing any more for this hobby of yours. What you should be doing is downsizing. You should be giving things away. 
Also, charge your phone. The more you look at this picture, the more horrifying it gets. He's got like three seconds before <laughs> battery goes out. Caro Nuqui? Oh man, dude, you are killing me here. What is this amazing creation? Look at these, look at these pieces of wood. Look at that central path. I mean, I would have chosen probably a different substrate because I just don't like that sort of mixed, not very clean look. Either go like pure white or pure like one solid color, pure black, whichever. But that's about it for this tank that I have to critique. And it's not even that big of a criticism. But I think the substrate actually does work in favor to this particular aquascape. Look at that species tank of bright red male ember tetras. I'm so envious because I accidentally got females. Nothing wrong with them. They're also very interesting because they set up their own territories. But they don't, they don't color up for crap, dude. I've been trying to color them up. I've been feeding them everything on this planet, and they ain't, they ain't doing it for me. Maybe there's two of them that have that were born with better color genetics, but the other female embers don't even think about it. They're, they're just bland as all heck. They're as bland as mashed potatoes on Christmas day. Back to the point though, this is gorgeous, okay? There are plants scattered throughout in a very natural way. You got a wall, a clean wall of Valisneria in the back. Clean white background as well. Ah, oh, it's so serene. I, I can't, it's five out of five. What can I say? Five out of five, let's go baby. Why? What is this, a video? What's going on? I don't get it. I guess this is a video thumbnail. I don't want to know which channel this came from. The pink gravel, the takeout container for your lunch for work? That's probably too small for my lunch. That's probably the, the sauce container that I bring if I've, if I've got any sauce to go with my main meal. You ain't putting fish in there. Come on, man. Let me tell you what's what's the question mark hiding. <laughs> it's It's dead fish. That's why you can't show it in the thumbnail. The reveal is just a few dead fish, the same fish in those in the bag. Found this on my local Facebook ads. What is wrong with people? Starter aquarium set, complete accessories. <laughs> $125 for that. Complete accessories? Dude, everything looks washed out and broken. You got like a propeller part for a filter that's not even in the picture just strewn around and it looks dirty it looks like you haven't dusted it since you've set it up you got a broke ass oxygen pump why would you even need an oxygen pump for a tank this size starter aquarium set come on don't set up aquarium hobbyists just starting out their adventure with this crap for 125 dollars oh man that hurts 125 or or best offer. That also grinds my gears when you put or in front of OBO because OBO stands for or best offer. So you you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, not to be like a grammar geek, but gee, have some decency in something. Have some class in something, okay? This tank is sent in by Dylan. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but what? Are you trying to show me up? Okay, look at the clean glass. You got a lily pipe going on. You got dual LEDs, whatever that is up front. You got a black background with this part, with this Moses biblical part, okay? And you got dual split gravel, split substrate. Looks like a species tank of neon tetras or something like that, maybe two species. Carpeted, fully decked out with plants. I think there's oko stone or lava rock as uh, as some hardscape. I, I don't know what to say, man. Five out of five. What's wrong with you guys? Can you stop? Stop showing me up. This episode's bonus secret comment is Arowana. This tank is sent in by ATM Blaze. I just need a moment. All right, guys. Am I getting punked? What's going on? I mean, look at that. Tell me, tell me what you would rate that, because that's five out of five for me, baby. <laughs> Fish keepers after getting a new tank. Reality can be whatever I want. <laughs> that is so true. Every time, that's what I think. Now I'm gonna think of this meme every time I get a new tank. Unfortunately, a lot of those new tanks, a lot of those realities, end up being like pink gravel or barf gravel, artificial decor, too small even for a betta fish tank, not knowing what the heck they're doing tank. But as you've seen in this FTR, a lot of submissions, man, reality for those tanks are so beautiful. Another crappy tank found on FB. Man, this one's even more I spy. Cause look, the first thing I see is that huge crappy temple. And then I see the goldfish and they're just strewn around the tank. This is maybe a 10 gallon with how many comets or 
twin tails or single tails, I think. Actually, those are single tails. Single tails need like a pond, okay? And then you see that red betta fish. That just blows my mind. There we, there we go. <laughs> That's just the cherry on top, isn't it? There's probably a few plecos in there as well. I would not be surprised. Maybe a crested gecko? Or perhaps she's just been chilling over there because I think she's sick of hearing my voice just right in front of her. This tank is sent in by Topaz. A long, I think, 20 gallon. Aesthetic, simple. I like the use of light colored substrate. There's an artificial sort of skull right in the middle, but you know, it kind of fits the, it's not like far out there. It's not like a bright red submarine or something like that. And also uh, you failed to hide the heater, which is, it's not the biggest deal. I don't even hide my heaters that well anyway. 3.6 out of 5, keep it up. Posted by a friend on Facebook. Crazy what people will do to run away from their crappy aquarium decisions. Now there's something you don't see every day. A smashed fish tank. Oh wow. Complete with gravel and a filter. It's holding up traffic in Harper Village. Is this some viral marketing for Finding Nemo 3? Aquarium's revenge blocking Wallaby Way. <laughs> Only in my hometown, Lamau. Just drove by that spot again. A good Samaritan? Remove the obstructing pet enclosure. I'm inclined to believe this is an accident, but if it's not, I mean, just thinking about it, like at that point, the, the fish tank becomes a burden to you because you didn't do enough research and now you got these random and crappy looking artificial tank that you don't want anymore and maybe you don't have a place to drop it off or to throw it away. So then you just decide to push it off of your car and create this massive jam and probably pop a few tires as well. Oh man, that's that's a crappy thing to do, bro. Pashi, come here. I'm recruiting you back onto the air. She's holding on with her tail. She's like, I don't wanna go. Oh, there we go. Pashi. Say hi to your lovely people. Welcome back to the end of the video. Rapashi and I would like to thank you so much for pushing the algorithm by giving me watch time and supporting this channel in that way. You know, you guys don't even realize how much you support the channel. The secret comment club of this episode is Guppy. Don't forget the bonus secret comment somewhere in the middle of this video. Well, that's it guys. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.